all hello students of grade 4 uh, first of all I wish that you all okay and you're having the time of your life by your family uh, as I always say stay safe uh, with the face mask wash your hands every now and then and uh, please protect your families and protect yourselves stay safe well uh, this is going to be recorded class number five and uh, I remember in the, 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 the former classes first we discussed uh, the fact and, 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 and fiction and we have illustrated the difference between fact and fiction uh, we say that fact is something that you know it's true and uh, fiction something that it is not true is not going to happen it is fictional and a story like uh, today I saw the sun shining the sun you can say the sun is shining well uh, think of this now the sun is dancing which one is fiction and which one is a fact the sun is shining it's a fact or the sun is dancing that is not a fact okay uh, please tell me what, what what are you going to put in your mind if you saw the sun dancing I mean this is really scary anyway then we shifted uh, to the, the where the mountain meets the moon story uh, of Milly and uh, I have given exercise on it uh, I hope that by now all of you have got done with that exercise and the last class was about uh, the, the story introduction we had had a lot of words a lot of adjectives and I say that you can get use of them when you come try to a story introduction today we're going to practice writing a story introduction uh, it's going to be fun so let's get started I can't hear okay let's get started well story introduction uh, the first paragraph of the story we said it contains mainly the setting and something about the main character setting main character main character is the most important character in your story well setting place time weather conditions place time weather condition three things place time and weather conditions weather deal uh, example for a place uh, you can say um, a market a street a school whatever any place that you select for your story a haunted house a cheerful house so whatever uh, you pick up for your story uh, the, now the time it could be any time during the day it could be any time during the year uh, like for instance in summer in winter and that, that's considered time still we didn't go to the weather yet uh, it could be in the morning at evening at noon at midnight like we story the, 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 we say the story of Cinderella was at midnight 12 uh, a.m. Uh, not the weather when you come to the weather you can select uh, any kind of weather that you like to add to your story like it could be a cold day it could be a hot day it could be uh, a rainy day a snowy day a foggy day whatever you select for your story let's practice writing a story introduction right now shall we let's go did uh, the first part of as we mentioned once upon a time once upon a time in a dash and dash day now here we're going to describe the day let's say for instance in a dark and cold day in a fine and beautiful day in a hot and summer day you select it okay you add any adjectives from the adjectives we have given last time and add it to your story so select any two adjectives in here uh, they could be for the weather and they could be you know for the time during the day as you said okay as you see well so uh, let me write something here as an example you're not going to write it you're going to write your own words 
So once upon a time, in a dark and cold day. By the way, these adjectives depend on the kind of the story that you're telling. For instance, if it was, if it was uh, a scary story, a horror story, uh, a story that makes the people afraid, the adjectives here are going to be different from if the story was uh, like a comedy one. Of course, it's going to be different. Like, dark and cold day, of course, there is something here about the story. Maybe the story is a horror story or it is a scary story. Okay. Uh, if the story is not about that, it is not a horror story, it's not a scary story, you can say in a fine and beautiful day. In a fine and beautiful day. Now the story is not scary any, any longer. So you got to select the uh, words well. Uh, you cannot say that once upon a time in a dark and beautiful day in a dark and beautiful it doesn't work even uh, what kind of story is this a dark and beautiful you cannot mix these two adjectives together okay so the adjectives have to cope with each other like a dark and cold day a dark and scary day a dark and beautiful day, whatever you select, or a fine and beautiful day, a nice and beautiful day, whatever. <coughs> so you select. Uh, we say that dark doesn't work here. I don't want to leave you something here to write because I want you to write your own words. And this is the time. In a dash, which was dash and dash. In a dash, not the place. The place that you're gonna select for your story. In a, uh, so, like, let's select something here for the place. If you say in, I will select house. In a house. In a house. Uh, which was dash and dash. Select any two adjectives as you like. Let's say in a house which was clean. In a house which was clean and cheerful. In a house which was clean and cheerful. Cheerful means happy. A happy house. In a house which was clean and cheerful. A house that when you get in you will feel happy. Uh, clean and cheerful. It could be in a house that old and ugly in a house that was old and ugly by the way most of the old houses are not good looking but some of them are really great okay uh, anyway in a house which was old and ugly you select any two adjectives just the two adjectives have to cook with each other. Like you cannot say in a house which was beautiful and ugly. In a house which was beautiful, sorry, in a house which was beautiful and ugly. It doesn't work. How the house is beautiful and ugly at the same time it doesn't work. This is really. Anyway. Uh, so the two adjectives have to cope with each other. Do you want to write something here and I'll leave it for you? It could be a house, it could be a school, it could be a market, it could be any other place. You select your own setting. Need. They are lived now to the main character. They are lived. They are lived a girl, they are lived a boy, there lived a man, there lived a woman, there lived a lion, there lived a gazelle, there lived a mouse, there lived a goat. Whatever you select for your story, whatever the, your main character is, 
So you select something right here, and this is the end of the first paragraph. Let's say uh, they link. They link a cat. They link a cat. Deal. So uh, if you got to this point, you just put a full stop, and the first paragraph of your story is done. Deal. Uh, I mean, I really want you to practice writing uh, this introduction every now and then. Uh, like you write about uh, five to ten introductions. Uh, change in the things that we say you can change uh, in, like the, 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 the place, the time, and uh, the, the main character that you're selecting for your story. And enjoy writing uh, story introductions. Uh, as I told you, from five to ten introductions, write them, practice on them. And that's it for today. Uh, we're done. Wish you all the best. As I told you and as I keep telling you, if you got anything that you don't understand, you can contact me and uh, have a nice time by your family. Protect yourselves, protect them. God bless each and every one of you. And see you later, alligator. Bye for now.